Now that you are familiar with Insight, let's take a deeper look at calibrating, validating, and measuring with uncertainty. From the system library, the user can characterize the uncertainty contribution of each aspect of your test setup. Starting with the VNA, users can characterize the uncertainty for the specific settings used to measure their device under test, including IF bandwidth, port power, and averaging. VNA uncertainty is related to the VNA noise floor, including the noise floor itself, and the magnitude and phase of the trace noise. Users can also characterize the uncertainties of VNA drift over time, including switch terms, tracking magnitude and phase, symmetry magnitude and phase, match, directivity, and isolation. These uncertainties are measured and quantified for the specific VNA in use and do not rely on any generalized or specific data provided by the VNA manufacturer. VNA calibration kit uncertainties can be loaded if provided by the CalKit manufacturer. Mari's characterized device CD CalKits model CK50 and CK51 include uncertainty data for each calibration standard. Measurement uncertainties caused by cable flexure can be characterized using Insight. Cable transmission uncertainty is characterized by connecting a short circuit termination to the end of the cable and performing multiple measurements while bending the cable in the same manner that a user would bend the cable during their measurements. This ensures that the uncertainty is quantified for the specific movements associated with each user's test and not a generalized or ideal bend. This test does not rely on any data or information provided by the cable vendor. Likewise, cable reflection uncertainty is characterized by connecting a 50 ohm load termination to port 1 and repeating the measurement while bending process. Like the previous test, this does not rely on any data or information provided by the cable vendor. The final connection interface at the calibrated device reference plane can be characterized for uncertainty by connecting and measuring a short circuit termination, then disconnecting and rotating the short circuit by 45 degrees and remeasuring, and repeating the process n times. This will characterize the measurement repeatability, capturing any issues caused by connector pin depth and concentricity, as well as user errors caused by poor connector etiquette. Validate your calibration by using a verification kit. Mori's verification kits come with pre-characterized standards that have been individually characterized with uncertainty. Calibration validation compares the S parameters of the verification standard measured by the user on his calibrated VNA setup and the S parameters measured by Mori Microwave and supplied with the verification kit. The S parameters and uncertainty boundaries are both displayed, and an overlapping uncertainty area reassures users of a successful and accurate calibration. Users are able to take live measurements of their DUTs while looking at the uncertainties of that measurement. The uncertainty budget can be used to identify the major contributors of uncertainty and empowers users to improve the overall quality of measurements by replacing these major contributors. The easiest and most common major contributors include poor quality or damaged cable assemblies, connectors with recessed or protruding pins, connectors with non-concentric pins, and user etiquette issues caused by non-properly handling connectors or forgetting to use torque wrenches. We want users to have the confidence in their measurements and, at the same time, make calibration and analysis an easy process. Oh, 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 oh,